This trip starts by me waking up at 6 a.m. at Changi International Airport in Singapore. I was still pretty bummed Hannah couldn't come with me due to some passport issues. I don't want to talk about it. I boarded the flight and soon landed in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Jogja for short. I was here to shoot a short documentary for work. The scene in Jogja was quite similar to the Philippines, except they had quite a bit more motorbikes, and they drove on the left side of the road. I was still bummed and I couldn't come. The film shoot went well. I managed without henna, but it wasn't easy. But the next day, I decided to change my attitude and make the best of my time in Jogja. Today I'm gonna explore Jogjakarta a bit. Let's go. I went on two missions. One, I went on a mission to find and buy some batiks. I'm kind of overwhelmed. Thank you. Mission accomplished. For my second mission, I was determined to get some drone shots of Borobudur Temple, the largest Buddhist temple in the world. Two conflicts arose. One, the entrance price was quite steep to get inside Borobudur Temple. And I also found out you can't fly drones within the temple grounds. So I searched Google and found out that you are allowed to fly a drone from outside the temple grounds and still get footage of the temple. Keeps raining. The weather wasn't looking good, but I decided to take a chance and go anyway. I hired Tio, a driver, to take me one and a half hours drive to the temple. When we got close, we looked for a spot outside the temple grounds to launch my drone from. Okay, so we're here right near the temple. It's in there. We found a spot. Mission accomplished. I got these awesome drone shots. Four temple guards rushed out of the temple premises on their motorbikes and told me to land the drone immediately. They also told me to delete the footage, which I did. But I just deleted them from my phone and hopefully they are still on the SD card. Thankfully, the files were not deleted off the actual SD card of my drone. Tio also ended up being a really cool guy, and he took me out to dinner that night. And then I headed back to the Philippines the next morning and said goodbye to Tio. Goodbye. Dude. Goodbye. <laughs> On the way back to the Philippines, I went through Singapore again and decided to explore their world famous Changi Airport. I found a movie theater, multiple video game options, a sunflower garden, and just a ton of shopping options. And that was only in one of their four terminals. The lesson that I keep having to reteach myself is no matter what the situation, make the best of it and don't be lazy. I had a really good experience in Jogjakarta and I hope I can come visit again in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments whether you liked this video and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.